Okay, I got a question sent in uh, from someone who came last week. Uh, we talked in the group last week about the, the little I, that's the, uh, the ego, being in the background acting as a supervisor. <clears throat> Could you shoot something on how to approach or overcome that? Okay, so that question was referring to feel the feelings. Uh, that question was referring to well, last week when I, uh, a lot of people who practice feel the, uh, feel the feelings when I sort of teach it. I say let go of labeling and just allow the experience of any energies or vibrations to be experienced. But uh, when I give those, um, when I give those uh, uh, instructions out to everyone in the group, a lot of people I uh, recognize are having what I call like a, like a, um, a subtle uh, controller or a subtle form of um, <clears throat> uh, monitoring that goes on in the background. So, yes, a supervisor, he said, yeah. There's like a little supervisor saying, oh, you're not doing it perfectly enough, mm -hmm. or you, you didn't feel it properly, or... Um, Orchestrated. Are, or, uh, are you, uh, you know, you haven't performed well, um, and I need to make sure you're doing it uh, properly. So, so, how do you switch that off? Well, first, it is just to be aware, is that happening? And if that's happening, um, then let it go. Um, now, how do you, so that's one thing. If you can just let it go, just let it go, because it's not useful. Just to be aware that there might be something, and then to, to hear the information that you can let go of uh, something you need to supervise, whether you're doing the feeling the feelings, you just let that go. And then, uh, okay, so that's one way to let it go. Just for me, just to say you don't need it. So just allow all the energies to be without any kind of supervisor, even a subtle supervisor. You don't even need a subtle, tiny supervisor in the background. Just let it go. Uh, the other way to uh, dismantle the supervisor is to... You can practice while just allowing energies to be. Um, you can also, uh, if there is something, it won't go away, like in the background trying to say, are you doing it properly? maybe you're not doing it properly, or you should do it a different way, then you can <clears throat> go to the observer of that, go to the, and go to the detached observer in that until that disappears, and then, and then just allow everything to be. And so um, then you just let that go. Otherwise, if it's a thought, if, it's a, you know, if the supervisor is a thought, realize that, don't, you know, is to not to identify with the um, thoughts of the supervisor. Even if you've let the obvious thinking go, if there's a subtle thinking going on, or unconscious, or very subtly conscious supervisor, just release identification with that. If the supervisor is like located somewhere, or has a feeling about it, then um, you can just, uh, just allow the field of feelings process to be with that until that dissolves away. Or if there's a location to the supervisor, then you can do the observer, be the observer of the location of the supervisor, um, and then and then, in the when you're in the observer of the location of the supervisor, is the observer of the location experiencing location? And if you're in the pure observing of the location, so that doesn't experience location. So that would, that would well dissolve the components of the supervisor. So dissolving the location, the feeling of the supervisor, and releasing identification with the thoughts of the supervisor. So just dismantle. So when you're doing the, the feeling feelings, you know, you'll have the gross things, but you may have subtle things still trying to control the supervisor. Even as you become aware of those, let those go, as I've said, or go to the observer of those and dismantle those, and know you don't need those. That's just the ego subtly trying to stay in the background, uh, do the process. So I hope that's helpful.